The image is coming in late today from Haiti. At least 30 Americans choppered out of Port-au-Prince, nearly 1,600 Americans in Haiti, reaching out to the U.S. Embassy. Many want out amid the growing danger there. ABC's Matt Rivers in Haiti again tonight. Tonight, this State Department helicopter airlifting Americans out of Haiti. Our team capturing the daring mission. Two choppers flying at least 30 Americans out of Port-au-Prince today after weeks of chaos. And as tensions rise, the government planning to send two helicopters into Haiti every day, hoping to get about 30 citizens out on those flights. And this is what they're fleeing. Gangs overrunning entire neighborhoods, fighting the police. It's not hyperbole to say that the only thing that's standing in between gangs completely taking over this country are a couple thousand police officers who are risking their lives every single day fighting back against these gangs. Here in Port-au-Prince, we go meet one of those officers on the front lines, part of a specialized unit fighting the gangs, terrorizing this city. Bonjour. This officer meeting us indoors, covering his face for his own safety. He tells me the police are outgunned and outmanned. We can't retreat, he says. We can't give up the country to the gangs. I've got no choice. And David, back to those evacuations. The U.S. State Department saying that nearly 1,600 Americans on the ground right now in Haiti are in touch with the U.S. Embassy as the State Department tries to find more ways to get more Americans out. David. Matt Rivers live in Haiti for us tonight. Matt, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.